Hi, Aaron Oberholzer here for the C3i Wedge. And as you can see, we're in the sand. And this is what this little baby was designed exclusively for, was for the sand. Now, obviously you can use it everywhere else, just like a normal wedge, and it's gonna work great outside the bunkers. But the biggest issue that we hear from people about their chipping and their pitching is, I have a brutal time in the bunkers. That's why this thing was really designed, was for bunker play. And you can see why. The reason that people struggle with bunker play is they really don't understand how to use bounce. So we made it simple for them. You can see by the basically the, the, the large flange on the bottom. This is bringing in bounce that you would normally have to create by opening up a wedge and doing all this crazy stuff where you open up your stance and take it outside or down the line and slice across it. And all this stuff that's very difficult to practice, requires a lot of hours of practice, um, and requires a, a lot of technique, let's say, for people. And, and a lot of people don't have the time, don't want to take the time, and quite honestly, some of you don't have the technique, uh, have technique issues and can't get the technique of proper bunker play down. So that's why this was created for you guys to make your bunker play a lot easier. So we've built in the bounce for you on this C3i and built this nice big flange that's gonna allow you to get the club into the sand but not stick in the sand and not dump the ball in the sand, but work cleanly through the sand and get the ball out high and explode it and make, basically make your life a lot easier with bunker play. And I'd say, I'd almost guarantee it that you're gonna get out on the very first swing that you give this C3i a try. Let me give you um, a couple of tips with the C3i on a basic bunker shot, two basic bunker shots. We're gonna do the close bunker shot right here to the green flag, which is basically your standard bunker shot that you find it on most green sides. And then the toughy, which is the pink one, way down there, the long bunker shot. Two different ways to play it, but it's really not that different other than maybe a ball position change. Because what I'm gonna show you is going to be very easy for you to do, and that's why we love the C3i. So what I want you to do is, instead of going through all the rigmarole of opening up the blade, opening up your stance, squatting down, making sure you dig in real hard and get and do all the stuff that we've always told you as professionals that you have to do to play proper bunker play, which you do with a traditional wedge. You don't have to do that with the C3i. You can literally set up square. You can dig in a little bit if you want. You don't even have to dig in if you don't want. And basically, if you hit right here, an inch behind the ball to two inches behind the ball with any kind of speed, at all, ball's gonna pop out. You're not gonna leave a ball in the sand. That's it. Regular golf swing, get a little, get a little steep with it. You don't wanna to get too shallow this way. You still wanna get fairly steep with it, a little steep with it, let the ball pop out. Catch the sand first, let the, let the sole do the work, let the autoglide sole do the work, okay? Square, not even digging in. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit an inch behind the ball and just judge it how I would normally do it. Let's see, that looks like kind of a swing like this. Gosh darn, that is unbelievable. I still can't get over how good this thing is. Not doing anything, square, square stance. And this isn't the 65, this is the 59. You get the 65, it's gonna go even higher and softer. Piece of cake. That one I actually hit a little fat. It's almost like I'm hitting a little chip shot. In fact, let me try to almost hit like it, like I would a chip shot out of the sand. You're saying, what? Why would you hit a chip shot out of the sand? Because you can. Okay, now for the longer shot, all you're gonna do is increase the swing, maybe put the ball back in your stance, maybe a ball, that's it. Put the ball back, line up square. Yeah, I'd take that in a pinch. Same thing. 
Line up square, ball back, inch behind the ball. That one I hit dead dog fat, and look at that thing. 15 feet, that was, and that was literally terrible. Somewhere in between. There we go. Very nice. And then you can vary your swing. You know, go back to the green flag, see how close you can get it, mess around with it. Run it through, play it lower, put it back in your stance in the bunker. Run it up there. I mean, it, this thing knows, this thing knows no boundaries really. Play it up in your stance. Get your weight on your left for this one a little bit. Play it up in your stance. Pick it a little bit. And this thing is a do-all. Just about everywhere on the golf course around the greens this C3I is going to work. So basically how you would hit a pitch shot from 30 or 40 yards, that's exactly the same technique you would use for these bunker shots. So if, you, if I took it back on the grass and I was going to play a 20, 30, or 40 yard shot off the grass, that's the exact same swing that I would make in the bunker for a bunker shot like this. Because obviously the sand, you've got to have some more speed for this you know, 20 to 15 or 20 yard bunker shot. So because you're gonna catch the sand and you're gonna use the flange to explode the ball out. But that's literally what you're doing. You're, I'm setting up like I would hit a 30 or 40, like a 30 or 40 yard shot, pitch shot off the grass. And that's the exact same swing I'm making out of this bunker. So all I'm doing is just basically playing a pitch shot, how I would from 20, 30 yards on the, on the fairway. And I'm doing it in the, in the bunker. That's how easy this thing is to use. It's the same technique. Except all you're doing is you're hitting an inch behind the ball, an inch or two behind the ball into the sand. Okay. Let's see if I can get really steep on this one. Where most of you would just dump it out. Pretty simple, self-explanatory, and it'll be the greatest weapon in the lower part of your bag with your wedges, the C3I wedge. Fantastic everywhere, but specially designed to get you out of bunkers in one shot.